Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilllink. Today, I wanted to answer one of the very frequent questions a lot of mechanical, automotive and aerospace engineers ask us. Let's see what that question is, right? So, a lot of you are in your first or second year of mechanical, aerospace or automotive engineering and uh, a question that you ask us is which Skilllink course should I enroll in? Or to ask this question in a different way, how should I plan my career if I am in my first and second year, right? So first and second year of your engineering college is when you have a lot of time, you enter into a new domain and you want to kind of, you, you have a, a lot of uh, interest in exploring new concepts, right? So that is when you want to uh, plan for your career as well. So today I wanted to kind of address on how to plan your career, right? Let's see what we have got. So the first question that we usually ask is, do you know what your area of interest is, right? So if you know what your area of interest is, right? So then you can easily determine what are the next steps that you can take in order to move uh, through your career, right? So let's say these are the five fundamental uh, careers that you can develop. So design, computational fluid dynamics, finite element analysis, FEA, multi-body dynamics or vehicle dynamics, programming, electric vehicle, right? So if you are uh, someone who is interested in design, right? You have a, a creative sense to you, you want to design components and bring them to life. So then uh, what I would recommend you to do is take a look into design co related uh, uh, domains. If you are someone who is interested in a lot of math, physics and fluid dynamics, right? Then your uh, interest might be computational fluid dynamics. Right? If you are interested in structural analysis, say if you are interested in uh, determining what is the strength of a particular component, what is the stress involved in a particular component, how much force can a particular component take up. Right? So that comes into FEA or structural analysis. If you are someone who is interested in robotics, or say steering kinematics, say automobiles, right? So if you are interested in how the steering and the uh, wheels are connected, uh, if you are interested in kind of the suspension design, then something that you need to look into is multi-body dynamics or vehicle dynamics, right? Say you are someone who is interested in uh, programming as a mechanical engineer, then there is a particular domain for programming in mechanical engineering uh, software uh, development for mechanical engineering software that you can take a look into. And the new field that you can also look into is electric vehicles, right? Uh, there's a lot of battery related stuff uh, that's coming up. So that's the other domain. So these are the five domains that you can pick and choose. If you want to get into R&D or uh, say product development life cycle in a company, right? So let's pick the first uh, stream, design, right? So you're in your first year or second year and you're interested in design engineering, right? You want to explore that aspect. So in design, there is the fundamentals, which is solid modeling and surface modeling. So what do you solid modeling mean? So any component, which is a solid, which is basically has uh, length, breadth, height, and has a enough volume. It's a solid model. All the common components that you see in real life will be solid. Your table, your chair, all these are solid models. What is surface modeling? Surface, as the name suggests, it's the exterior uh, surface of any component. If you take your car, the exterior surface, how it finishes is called a surface model, right? So these are the basics of design engineering, right? So if you are interested in design, right? What I would recommend is solid or uh, learning up solid and surface modeling, right? So here you can use any software to basically uh, learn solid and surface modeling. I wouldn't say there is one software that you need to learn because every software has pretty much the same principles. It's just the user interface is different, right? If you are learning of solid modeling in Skilllink, one of the things you can do is you can uh, take up a Ultimate SolidWorks course where you will design a Harley Davidson or you can take a surface modeling course where you will design a yacht or you can take up another surface modeling course where you design an Aston Martin or a Boeing 747. So any of these four courses will give you a fundamental knowledge on design. So you're a brand new fresher, you don't have any design experience, taking up any of these four courses will give you a very good stand on design engineering, right? That is 
the fundamentals of design engineering solid and surface that is stage one right you are fresh you just entered first or second year and you want to learn design engineering that's stage one okay you have learned design engineering right you have learned how the tool works you have learned how the solid and surface modeling uh, is developed stage two is where you learn about sheet metal and plastics what i said before solid model is any solid component surface is your exterior components sheet metal is the structural component it provides strength for your design right you can see that in your baw body in white of your car which is basically the chassis of your car is sheet metal purely your uh, if you take up a air conditioner in your home if you have a split ac you will see the whole split ac being mounted on a sheet metal right so these are strength components and now recently there is a lot of use of plastics in the automotive industry because it provides uh, it is cheaper and also it is durable and the strength also is uh, matching to the automotive requirements and it is lightweight right so understanding sheet metal and plastics should be your stage two right so here uh, some of the courses that you can take a look into is automotive baw sheet metal design using catia or nx cad or plastic design using catia or nx cad catia or nx cad uh, learning these two skills in catia or nx cad is uh, important because industries pretty much use these two uh, softwares to work on uh, plastics or sheet metal right so this is with uh, the stage two now you have learned solid modeling surface modeling sheet metal plastics what is stage three stage three is knowing gdnt geometric dimensioning and tolerances right so uh, stage three is where basically you understand what are the how do you define a particular drawing right so uh, those are basically done using uh, symbols so planes are uh, defined using symbols then there is tolerance stack up all these uh, conditions is where you learn about gdnt that's one then if you want to go one step beyond then there you can learn a little bit of analysis mold flow analysis is one uh, understanding how the mold works and then uh, you can work into introduction to fea or introduction to cfd to kind of fulfill you as a product uh, development engineer right in stage two some of the things that i did not mention is basically the baw fixture design there is one aspect where you design the component there is another aspect where you design the fixture uh, of the component where the component is manufactured so that is also very prevalent in industry baw fixture design baw uh, sheet metal design plastics and then there is mold design right mold design is also very prevalent so these are the four things that you can take a look into in stage two right to summarize so stage one is solid modeling and surface modeling stage two is sheet metal plastics in in this also look into fixture design and mold design stage three is your mold uh, mold flow analysis geometric dimensioning and a little bit of uh, analysis so if you are a fresh engineer who wants to get into design engineering this is the uh, pathway that you need to follow right great uh, this video for was for design engineers in the next video i'll speak about computational fluid dynamics engineers. okay see you in the next video thanks guys